It's time! Ah! My boys! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 video. And yes, we're continuing this non DLC build series, and I'm bringing y'all next a non DLC Freezer Race builds. Feel me? But before this video starts, I do want to say if you are new to the channel, this is your first time running across the big homie destroyer, and you happen to find the content I'm making entertaining or useful, please make sure to leave a big fat like on this video. Also, more than 60% of you guys that watch the content on a consistent basis are not sub to the channel. So, you know, we hit 10K a few months ago now or a month or two ago now, you know, we continue to continually try to grow. So if you're watching my content and you're enjoying it, feel me, you're laughing, you're having a good time, I'm helping you with these builds, drop your boy a sub because I will really appreciate it. But next up on this non-DLC build series specifically, because remember, I'm trying to help out all the homies that's, that don't got the DLCs, feel me, that the moms and the parents, they're trying to hook them up, feel me. We got a non-DLC freezer race build for y'all boys. And yo, when I tell you this one's solid, this one's pretty solid for me. For the OGs on the channel that, that have been watching me for a while, or at least have been watching me since I started creating build content, y'all gonna see a similar combo that I made here that is like one of my old freezer race combos for me. I had to bring a little bit of nostalgia from this channel back, like making the non-DLC be con DLC build combo similar, or basically the same as one of the combos I made a while ago for me. So yeah, y'all. But I waste y'all boys Tom. Let's get straight into it, you heard? for the stats this is the like basically the main freezer race stats i've been using for all the time by the way i do want to say for a lot of these non-dlc builds you're probably going to see me use the same stats that i normally use simply because the non-dlc part is mainly focused on the moveset and the super soul for me but for the stats we have zero in the attributes of health 84 in the attributes of key 84 in the attributes of stamina zero in the attributes of basic attack not basic attack focus freezer race are not really heavy on basic attack but there's some good freeze race basic attack builds 82 in attributes of strike supers and 125 in key blast supers. So as you can see, we're heavily focused on key blast supers, but have a lot of strike as well. In my opinion, this is one of the best freezer race builds you can make because not only are you executing, making sure that your freezer race is max on key blast, since they are good in key blast, but you're also having a little bit of strike as well. Feel me? And usually a lot of strike stats for like a lot of races will go into basic attack if it's a key blast strike super build. But since freezer races are really the greatest with basic attack, you gotta worry about that. So we made sure to put those attributes in strike keepers and we have a decent amount of key. So yeah, boys, these are the stats. Let's get into the QQ bang so I can get to the super soul for this non-DLC build. For All right, y'all, for the QQ bang for this non-DLC freezer race build, we are running down two in health, up two in key, up five in stamina, up five in basic attack, up two in strike supers, and up five in key blast supers. So this is mainly focusing. Our only choice to keep um, this freaking super soul because it was good in key blast supers and stamina, but Basically, you're just going to want to get any type of super soul that's heavily focusing on your key blast and stamina. Even if it's down and strike supers, that's not a problem. We just have those attributes and strike supers filled up because we do not need basic attack at all. And I'd rather have strike supers for a freezer race than basic attack because freezer race are not, like I said, basic attack races for me. If you want to know how to make these six star QB banks in every description of my Xenoverse 2 videos, I always leave my QB bank tutorial down there. So for you guys that be asking in the comments right now, sometimes. Just know that for my Zverse content, I always make sure to leave the tutorial to get these six star key things in the description. So check that out, y'all. But now, let's get into this non DLC Super Soul. We are running, boys! Hi, right, y'all, for this non DLC Super Soul. This is actually an OG one that's still a top tier Super Soul, in my humble opinion. And that is Let's Enjoy the Game right now. This is East Supreme Kai Super Soul, and it always reduces the damage taken from all attacks by small, notifies poison, nullifies movement reduction, and nullifies hindrance damage. Now let me tell y'all what first let me see i'll put on screen right now how to get the super soul you're gonna need to complete the story mode and i think you need to talk to a certain character i will put it on the screen so you guys know how to get it and you can always look up the tutorial on youtube because i'm positive somebody shows how to get the super soul right now but why i love the super soul is simply because it basically like nerfs your opponent from being able to kill you faster per se or not kill you faster and nerfs your opponent from being able to give you a disadvantage so basically with the super soul we're not able to get poisoned we're not able to get freaking stunned by like a wide stand of break, and we're not able to take any hindrance damage, like I said, from any like poison or certain attacks too. And oh, so we're getting that small damage reduction, which is small, but it's still gonna mean a lot for me. So yeah, I just really like the Super Soul. I feel like this is one of the most balanced Super Souls in the game, and very underrated because I don't see a lot of players use it, but I'm telling you, if you're a PvP player, especially if you don't have DLCs and you're looking for a good Super Soul, this is a great one. You don't even have to run around freaking freeze race, but you can run on any other race. It's just very good 
for kind of saving yourself from getting hold inside of a match or being put at a disadvantage by getting poisoned or slowed down or something for me. So yeah, boys, I'm talking a lot. Let's get into the most important part of this non UC build, which is the skill set. And then we're going to go on training, showcase the skill set with the mini combo I made up, and violate people in rank with this non DOC build. Y'all boys ready? Let's get straight into it. Bye, y'all, for the skill set for this non DOC build. We are running Flash, Strike, Evil Eyes, Faint Shot, Key Blast Cannon, Emperor's Death Beam, Soul Punisher, Turn, Go Turn Golden, and Rolling Emperor. Now, I know some of y'all probably think, like, damn, friend, why do you even put anything? In a strike supers, if you're on a key blast build, one we still have 125 in key blast, so it doesn't really matter. And two, like I said, I was really this put I really just put in strike supers from my freezer race. That's case one I want to use like hybrid based moves, or two because like I said, I rather waste my stats in strike than in basic attack with a freezer race since freezer races really don't need basic attack. So they're not basic attack type a type race for me. If you guys get what I'm saying, I do want to emphasize that. If, like, this is for all my non DLC, DLC builds, by the way, of course, we know that Beast and tur Turn Golding and Potential Release are transformation that you can get without the DLC. It's your choice to run Beast or anything on this build. It's up to you. Just for these non DLC builds, you're probably or rarely going to see me run Beast just because I don't feel like being annoyed on rank by getting my freaking guard broken because the duration of the damn transformation is taking 50 years. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Yeah. This is the skill set. Let's get straight into training so I can showcase to you guys this build as well as the damage. And then we're gonna go and rank the volley people, you alright? Let's get straight into it, don't we? Alright, my boys, we are in training, so you know it is time to showcase the build, you feel me? So, first, we're gonna start off by simply turning golden. As you guys can see, the glue around our character, these little like freaking effects around our character, is just symbolism of the super soul. So, like I said, if you get Y standard broken or anything that is trying to like nullify us happens, we're gonna be immune to it, feel me? So, let's get straight into the combo, boys. You can simply start off with an X, Y, if you want, or something, but I'm gonna go into this specific combo frame. Boom. Evil eyes into a key glass cannon, into a faint shot. Boom. Dashboard into a Y, and then flash strike. And look at that freaking damage, feel me? The reason why I said this was a throwback is a while ago, in one of my combo compilation, and in one of my builds, I made a similar combo string with the evil eyes, key cannon, and faint shot. All I did was with this one was simply add flash strike, which is another non DLC build. Really, feel me? Also, what's great about freezer races is that they have the perfect combo string to land the backward soul punisher. So you want to simply go into the same combo string and still press Y one more time, do that little back in and emerge, and then I messed up! We're gonna try it out again because I'm probably trash at the freaking game and I can't even get a combo string right. We're gonna go into that same combo string animation into the back hit, into the Soul Punisher. Oh, of course, to do that backward Soul Punisher, you wanna flip your joystick up. While the Soul Punisher, you can also look that up as well. I'm pretty sure somebody says how to do it. But that combo string that I showed you guys right there is literally probably the best combo string in the game for landing Soul Punisher with CACs. Thank God, Freezer Races have it. The best. And also, of course, we have Rolling Bullet. And for the other ultimate, that's just. And just like, if you have a freezer race, bro, and you, you got non DLC, bro, you better be run this move. That is Emperor's Death Beam, man. This move is extremely deadly, and to be honest, probably one of the most annoying moves to get hit by in rank. Like, what's crazy is I don't see people use Emperor's Death Beam a lot, but yo, bro, if you're trying to go crazy on rank, though, if you're trying to, like, get lucky and save yourself, say you get a folded on rank, feel me? Somebody beating a dog out of you, you got Emperor's Death Beam, bro, throw that move out, bro. Like, I'm telling you, out of, like, there's like a freaking 8 out of 10 chance you won't even get yourself guard broke from just throwing it out, bro, because. It's, it's so easy to trap with this move, it's not even funny. So yeah, y'all, I'm talking a lot. This is the freaking ultimate non-DLC Freezer Race build. But of course, like you guys know in all my build videos and videos in general, I don't like to just do all the talk and only we got to go on rank and showcase why this is the best non-DLC build, feel me? Shall boys ready? Let's get straight into it, feel me? Oh, boys, we are in the first match for this non DLC deal. Seem if you find a Namekian in the fun name, but you know, we got a freaking TF because I mean, it's kind of solid amount of TP. I put the Fox got before, so it's probably a solid player. And Namekians are a freaking problem, but once again, not in comparison to this non DLC build, I'll tell you that. Come here, sucker. What I really like too about Golden Form is that there's an extra infinite you can do with Golden Form. I think I showcased it inside my infinite video. I'm pretty sure I did, but like. I go out. We don't have to, not to pull it on, pull that on this one. You feel me? You can also execute using paint shot as a good bait. Look, you're gonna see it in a sec. Dance for me. <laughs> now it missed, but basically, um, paint <laughs> shot. The good thing about using that move is that it's great move for baiting for me. We so, gonna keep going crazy, boys. I wanna go golden. Back up. We're golden now, baby. I really wanna land a combo on the homie, but I'm gonna have to take my time. And I also gotta stop waiting to use my move. Some bad habit I have, and since I'm so used to trying to land combos, I, I wait too long sometimes to even try to land the move I have. 
or the moves I have. Man. They can mess me up. Hold up, Kongo-san! Oh, I think it's Kongo-san, boys. I think it's Kongo-san, boys. No. Oh, we gotta conserve. Because if I finish that, I could have screwed me over. What you got? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. No. I thought he was gonna try to do a freaking attack. That scared me. Oh, uh, oh, Kongo Sound Boys. No, suffer. Hold up, guys. We're very low in health. You know what? This is the perfect time to showcase it. No, did it work? No! Guys, I think I have an IQ problem. Cause that was literally we get Loki a free comeback from that no stand out not even on me. This part's doing crazy freaking damn things the damn the mech in, but Bro, that match was very wonderful when I sold. I think we're in the next match. Soon we find a female margin with a lot of TP. You gotta be careful fighting female mods with a lot of TP because nine times out of ten they're gonna try to freaking cheese you because that's just how the universe is. But let's hope not. Yes, we call them the fake shot, they suck up from here. Like I said, y'all, this is just a very good non dlc build for me. Like I said, for you guys that don't have DLCs, man, you can still make some crazy builds. Like you really do not need those DLC moves. Although there's a lot of amazing and great DLC moves, bro. It is not like something you need to win a match, bro. Like, there's so many OP non-DLC builds that you can make, which I'm gonna, of course, be showcasing in this series. Pack them, sucker. We're going golden for baby. What's up? Like I said, I did it again last match. It's probably cost me as well. I'm not using my moves enough. I like to really showcase comments for you guys. That's another reason why I hesitate to show moves as much, but I gotta just go crazy. He's gonna do super goggles again. Nope. But he's fighting for the big sucker. Like I said, you gotta be careful. When these guys got high TP with certain characters, bro, just, just expect... Expect some cheese, some type of cheese, bro. I'm not falling for that, sucker. I'm not falling for that, sucker. <clears throat> oh, he stopped it. But he's gonna fall for the paint again. No, he didn't fall for it. What are you doing, uh, Mad Mun, Mad Mun Kong? Oh, sucker. You gotta see it. Hold, hold up. They forgot the biggest story got the best movement in the game for real, for real. What are you doing, huh? <clears throat> He's behind me. I be. I be. No, not the person lock too, sucker. Oh, no, I'm trying to hit him with the freaking fake fast me. No, I, why don't I see my mods are so deadly? To the office? What's that? No! I sent a freaking marked off, bro! Oh my god, that's two L's in a row, bro. I'm open my soul, man. Usually, guys, the reason I mark off is just to conserve stamina more and also to have a better chance at recovery because, like, when you mark off, you can kind of drop out a certain combo strings. I didn't expect to hit me with the freaking GBS hero, freaking Gohan, plot armor, freaking special new game, bro. Like, come on. You know what? Because we lost two matches in a row, now I gotta, I gotta absolutely obliterate my next few opponents, so we go. Just be finished, we're doing You are a stream block master, but I'm still better than you, so you're getting told. I don't know the whole block master because that damn super super so he has, but it doesn't matter. Because we're going now. We're going to prove our superiority, bro. You ain't going to be freaking block master like that, something. Yeah, finish. No, he has counters. Bro, he's going to get like the freaking weirdos, bro. Why? And he's going to spam this. None of that works once because the universe two players are so predictable, bro. No, I'm not going to spam that on this stuff. <clears throat> <laughs> Evil eyes, even if you try to hit me, he's gonna still hit me. Nope. He burst dash at me. Ah, you missed your beat. Triangle lock. Us being on the corner of the map saved me. <laughs> what are we doing, sucker? Bro, the block mashing is absurd, bro. What do you, bro? What do you get out of doing that, sir? Look at him. He's so desperate, bro. You can see just by how in place how desperate they are for the win, bro. Like, relax. Bro, he's bugging out. You can block mashing his family counters, bro. Are you serious? I would gotta have the worst rank taste when I'm doing a build video, but I swear. I need a university video, I'm chilling. As soon as it's a freaking rank video, I gotta get hold and spanned by male morons. <sighs> come on, burst dash again, huh? You're cool, right? Burst dash, come on. Come on, tough guy. Come on, tough guy. I can go behind you, sucker. <clears throat> Mm, stupid, yeah, you should have, you should have freaking away, goofy. Nope. No. No way that still freaking hits me. No, now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time, stupid. Go, go, go. I'm finally able to throw it out at the right time, bro. I'm trying to fight these bums, bro. It's always the goofy. Why are you block mashing and staying the counters, bro? Like, what, is, what, what, what fun do you get out of that? And now you lost. You're gone, bitch, bro. Get to one more freaking match, bro. Let's try to at least violate that guy. You know, I'm gonna try to actually land the combo on that guy for me. Let's get straight into it. All right, y'all. 
Alright, I'll just perk my heart. Hey y'all, we're in the last match of the video. We're in one of my favorite match, probably my favorite match about time camera, so I gotta go crazy in here for me. I think we fight a male saying you know named JCIS Crown. Well I'm gonna be crowned king, you because I'm about to fold you. Another corner saying I said the who cares, you don't go crazy. Okay? I like to see that. You don't see a lot of people that know he's a male saying. Just like how he move and I know he can move. So we got a pretty interesting fight Hi, ahead of us, boys. What are we doing? Hi, Don't back at me, sucker. Just like you perfect block the perfect block too, but I'm I'm the petty perfect block of yours. Nah, I keep messing up my comments. Okay. What you got for us, Gango? Okay. 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 I feel like you're moving like the big destroyer with the male saying. I love to see male saying that know how to infinite pony is. It's, it's, it's very fun to see. But I need to go, I need to go golden on this one, guys. I need to knock him back. If I'm not at full power, then shout out to Syriax. Then I can't really showcase the freaking combo, so I'm gonna need to go. Okay, just getting excited. No, that's when I need to go. Yeah, back it, sucker. Mm. That's when I need to go golden. Now it's combo time. Now let me actually be smart on Santa. Oh, we're twins. Look at him. Mm. Come here. I wanna land this combo on so bad. Mm. 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 Why are you freaking bro? What? I'm the first guy to not hit him, bro. This game is weird. Got you, sucker. Don't put a pay again. Again? Oh. <laughs> Alright, we got the first. <laughs> mm. 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 Don't put a pay again. No, I'm trying to bait this dude so bad. What is that? 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 I gotta be careful for moving. Now I'm scared to get hit with freaking moves after an extended combo. And after what that freaking other guy did to us, bro. Mm. We both slower than it can still hit you when you're not looking. Hi, B. Mm. Nervous. Stupid! What are you doing? Mm. If you had enough enough freaking help, I would have ended the homie with a soul punisher, but I couldn't. But yeah, yeah, that is the video. That's a non DLC build. I know I freaking lost the first two matches, but it's alright. At least y'all know this build is OP for me. I mean, I seen enough in training, and we did solid these last two matches. So yeah, that's the video. Just want to say I have so much. Huge bangers come to the channel next. I'm gonna be playing other Dragon Ball games or just yo, I have some series I did. I got some crazy funny series I did coming out soon. So y'all boys stay tuned with the melodies on because when y'all see this series, I think y'all really gonna like it, man. But like I said, I'm just trying to change up a lot of the content on the channel just to get a little bit more creative so y'all can just see other sides of me. So yeah, yeah, that's the video. I'm gonna catch y'all boys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Mm. Oh Shorts and white tee on, poly do rag and what? Kool Aid in favorite cup, all while I play the cut. Spot on my stupation to do, link with the troops. What's up? They calling do ain't nothing new, this what we do.